All right, well, imagine rowing 10 hours a day for 60 days. We'll tell you about a 3,000-mile journey that one man is doing in the spirit of his mom. Here's a question. All right, well, Paul Ridley is a man with a mission. On January 1st, he set out alone from the Canary Islands on a 19-foot boat, rowing nearly 3,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Why? To raise a million dollars for cancer research. He's currently 950 miles east of Antigua. The catalyst for his trip, Ridley lost his mother to cancer back in 2001. I talked with Paul Ridley by phone just a short time ago. All right, well, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And about where are you right now? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm uh, feeling well. I'm uh, 60 days uh, out to sea and I'm uh, just under a thousand miles east of the Caribbean. Right, well, talk, tell me a little bit more about this expedition because you're doing this alone out at sea. It's got to be very lonely and very uncomfortable. Give me an idea what your greatest challenges have been. Yeah, well, it, you know, everything from uh, getting used to life at sea in a 19 foot boat. Uh, that includes uh, five straight days of uh, seasickness, which was not too much fun. Oh. Uh, you know, eating nothing but freeze-dried food for uh, two months now. And, uh, you know, most importantly, rowing for 10 to 12 hours a day every single day. Wow. And you trained for this quite extensively, right? I mean, something like three years and heavy training. You put on a lot of weight because you knew that you'd be eating that astronaut food and probably losing a lot of weight with all this rowing. Yep, absolutely. I, I trained for uh, for almost three years, and uh, you know the training paid off. I can row for a really long time now, uh, and uh, yeah, as expected, I've probably lost about 20 pounds uh, since I've left. But uh, you know, still holding up well, and think I have the fuel to uh, to make it all the way here. And and while I mentioned it must be very lonely out there, at the same time, you kind of are keeping some dialogue going. At least you're you're talking with. All those friends that have been reading your blog on soloroad.blogspot.com, what have you been talking about in your journey, and how does this kind of keep your head in check, your sanity in check, and make up for all the time that you are spending alone rowing? Oh, yeah, the, the blog is really a great way for me to connect to the outside world. Uh, you know, in addition to being a way for me to get my thoughts out to people, uh, I also get all of their comments sent back to me. So what are they saying uh, to you? you know, uh, oh, lots of encouragement, as you could expect. Uh, you know, I've got uh, kindergarten classes uh, following me every day uh, and uh, asking questions about whether I've seen sharks or not. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> Any answer? Have you? Uh, I haven't seen sharks. I, I think I've seen just about everything else. Uh, lots of fish, dolphins, uh, whales, uh, you know, all sorts of birds. Uh, you know, lots going on out here. You're calling this Row for Hope. This is a project you and your sister founded together, really in memory of your mom who died of skin cancer uh, back in 2001. How much are you thinking about your mom along this journey? Oh, every day. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, just like when I'm back on land. Uh, you know, one thing about this trip uh, is that we, uh, we crossed the eight-year anniversary of, uh, of, of losing my mom uh, back on February 5th. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're right. This is really uh, one great big tribute to her. Well, that's a, a colossal feat, a huge tribute. And I know she's looking down on you and smiling as well. All right, Paul Ridley, thanks so much. All the best to you. Incredible journey. And uh, what a colossal feat that you are carrying out. All the best to you. Stay safe. And we look forward to talking to you along the next three weeks to see how it all ends up. Paul Ridley, thanks mm -hmm. so much. Sounds good. Thank you. And he's just 25, and uh, he would be only the third American to actually accomplish this if indeed he meets uh, his uh, destination. And you can check into his blog by going to rowforhope.com. We'll be right back.